Hi, this is Jim Gaffney. Thanks for checking in. And um, for those of you don't, who don't know, um, my name is Jim Gaffney. I've been a, a home lending professional for the better part of 25 years and probably have looked at, I don't know, thousands of credit reports and I've attended thousands of closings. And what I wanted to do is put together just a short little list of things that you can do to make your closing date and closing day um, a little bit more comfortable. So check it out. Okay, one of two items to know as a real estate agent before you schedule your closing date. Number one, don't schedule your closing date for early in the morning, okay? This is really important for a lot of reasons. Um, nothing a lender likes less than a 9 a.m. closing, and there's a couple reasons why. One, um, there's, there's a process to getting a closing package out um, from a closing team, and in that example, that, that closing package has to be out the day before, uh, well in advance of that time. Also, the bank has to send a wire, which going through the Federal Reserve wire room can take anywhere from, I don't know, an hour to two or three hours maybe on a, on a busy day um, at the Fed. So leave an adequate amount of time for that wire so that your clients are not sitting at the closing table, um, staring at the walls, watching the closing agent come in and out, saying that they're just waiting for the wire. Okay, so if you have ample notice, please make your closing closings at least after maybe 10, 10.30. Um, you might find a little bit better of experience overall. Um, also, uh, it allows time for the buyer to send their wire, right? The buyer has to go and wire their money to the title company so if they didn't do it the day before, or maybe they're relocating and they're just getting to town the day before. It's going to allow them to send that wire the morning of closing, gives them a little bit of breathing room, also, they have the, uh, you typically have a walkthrough in the morning um, before closing, so we want to give them adequate space to send their wire, to go through their walkthrough, um, and not have to show up at a title company that early in the morning um, for a closing if potentially there's a risk of not having that loan package and that wire ready. Every lender is different, but I can tell you that morning closings can potentially add a little bit of a hiccup uh, into your closing day. Number two, and really uh, the last item, I only have two today, but try to not schedule closings for the first of the month. Um, and there's a few reasons. The main reason is most banks, I would say most banks, uh, the majority of banks operate in a workflow calendar for month end, meaning underwriters and closers are going to work on loan files that are closing uh, with dates sequential to where they're at going to the end of the month. So. If they're on the 20th of the month, they're probably working on closing packages that are going uh, to close on the 22nd, maybe the 23rd. Their, their goal is to meet those end those month end closing dates and get those closing packages out for the end of that month. Unfortunately, if you're closing on the first of the month, that closing packet is going to roll over to the next month. So that package, in some cases with some lenders, right? Rates are really low right now. Lenders are really at capacity, they're super busy, and they're closing teams. They, they have to get to, let's say June, for example, they have to get to June's closing packages before the end of June. They made those commitments to those people. So um, that closing package might not get started in some cases until late, late day, the last day of the month, or maybe even the first day of the beginning of the month. So understand the lender you work with, understand their capacity. Um, but overall, if you could not make the closing on the very first of the month, you're gonna give your buyer um, and your lender a lot more breathing room for that loan package to be prepared. Um, another reason is that when you close at the beginning of the month, there's an entire month worth of per diem interest, okay? So the buyer is going to incur a little bit higher um, closing costs as a result. So in some of the small loan amounts where every couple hundred dollars matters to buyers who um, are really on a budget, Closing on the first of the month can actually increase their closing costs, whereas closing towards the latter part of the month, um, their per diem interest would be usually just a couple of days, um, and then they would have a payment due at the beginning of the following month. So if you close at the end of June, your first payment would be due August 1st, and you'd only have a few days of interest for the remainder number of days of the month of June. So there you have it. Don't close early in the morning. Do yourself a favor and try to not schedule closings for the first of the month so that you can create a little bit more comfortable experience for you and your client.